Hello and welcome yet again to another video of Tutorials Point. Yes, there's a challenge for you in this video and I'm sure you're going to clear this challenge. Well, even if you are not sure that you're going to clear it, don't worry. I'm sure after seeing this video, you will definitely, uh, you know, be able to crack any challenge as far as English is concerned, right? Let's go ahead and see as to what is this quick word challenge. Okay. So here we have two different words, okay, uh, the pronunciation of which is same but the meanings are completely different and commonly we end up confusing them both. Now let's see as to which word is the correct, is the correct version of, uh, you know, so that it can be used in this context properly, right? Okay, so pain or pain, which pain are you going to use in these sentences? Just check out. A fly buzzed against the window pane. A fly buzzed against the window pane. Which is correct? Which do you think is correct? You're absolutely right. Well, I'm sure most of you have guessed it correct. This pane is pain as we all know. And this pane is that slab in front of the window, right? So here in this context, the fly buzzed against the window pane, right? So that is going to be the right option. Though the pronunciations are same, but the meanings are different and you might as well um, sometimes end up getting their spellings wrong. So after seeing this video, I'm sure this confusion is not going to lurk in your mind anymore, right? Okay, how about these two words? Your and your. Now both of them sound the same, don't they? Right? But there is a big difference in both of them. And what is that? Well, you'll just get to know. I think you're expecting too much of me. Or I think you're expecting too much of me. Now, which is the right version? Well, let me get this confusion right. Your, which is this one, is a contraction of you and are. Whereas this your means something that is yours, right? So here, I think you're, you are expecting too much of me. Well, I'm sure you're not expecting too much of me, but here in this context, I think you are expecting too much of me or I think you're expecting too much of me, right? So this your is the right answer. Okay, now how about these two words? Well, are you surprised to see this? Don't be. Conquer and conquer. Both of them, uh, you know, the pronunciation is same, but the meanings are very, very different. Okay, now look at the sentence. Around 58 BC, he launched a campaign to conquer Gaul, right? So here in this sentence, which do you think is the right conquer? Well, you will get the answer right once you know the meaning. So this conquer is actually horse chestnut, which is a fruit, right? And this conquer means that you have now actually encroached upon something and you have now conquered it. You have, uh, you, you won something, right? Now something that you conquer is yours now, you won it, you're, you're over it now, right? So that is what is meant by conquer. So here in this context, this conquer is going to be the right choice, which means this sentence is going to be correct. Okay, now how about these two words? Seem and seem, absolutely, uh, you know, pronounced in the same way, but which is the correct, uh, you know, usage according to the sentence? I seem to remember giving you very precise instructions. Well, this seem, what does it mean? So you, you've heard of this word seamless, right? So seamless, so seam actually uh, means something that is kind of a boundary or, um, or something that is, uh, that is kind of a line, right? So that is what is meant by seam. But this seem is, I seem to remember, like I remember what I said, right? So here in this context, this is going to be the right choice. I seem to remember giving you very precise instructions. I seem to remember, which means I remember, right? You see, when you see something, S-E-E, -E, so that is when you're going to, that is actually, it is kind of, it means, uh, the same. So I seem to remember giving you precise instructions. Okay, now how about these two words, Marshall and Marshall? Again, same pronunciation, but a huge confusion while you are using them. Now, 
a fire marshal appeared at our door and a fire marshal appeared at our door. Now, which is the right version? Which do you think is the right choice here? So here, this marshal actually means someone who is an officer, uh, you know, of any particular thing. That is what is meant by marshal. But this marshal, M-A-R-T-I-A-L, is something that relates to a war or a fight, right? For example, army, something that relates to army or defense or fight. That is what is meant by this marshal. So here in this context, a fire marshal appeared at our door. So here the marshal means someone who is an officer. So a fire officer appeared at our door. No more confusions. I'm sure of it. Okay. Now, great or great. Which is the right choice? Okay, so grate 250 grams of cheddar and add to the sauce. What is cheddar? Cheddar actually means cheese, right? So here, grate 250 grams. Now, one grate is something which means this grate, something that is big, that is humongous, that is huge, right? But this grate actually means to shred, which means here you have grated 250 grams of cheese, which means you shred it or you cut into pieces, right? So here, this grate is going to be the right choice. I am sure you're not going to be confused anymore if you see both of these words. Okay, now weather or weather, very, very commonly used words and very, very commonly confused as well. Now, what is the right choice here? Now, fishing is possible in virtually any weather, right? So here, this weather means a climatic condition, right? A climatic condition or uh, how's the weather today? Is it warm? Is it cold? That is what is meant by weather. Whereas this weather means, yes, whether you are coming or not, right? That is the correct usage of this weather. Now, the spellings are different, the pronunciations are same and most of the times we end up writing the wrong spellings in the wrong context, right? So this confusion you should definitely be clear of. So this weather means whether yes or no, means an option. What is the option? Whether you're going or you're not going, right? So here, what do you think is the right option? Well, of course this one, because they are talking about a particular climate con climatic condition or a particular climate, right? So here, this weather is the right option. Well, all the answers are here ready for you. Whenever you wanna practice, just feel free to check out the answers and be sure so that you're not confused anymore. And I'm sure this quick word challenge was a challenge for you all and now you've conquered it, isn't it? Well, friends, this was all about this video we will see you again in the next video till that time keep learning with tutorials point and tutorics have a good day